What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the airship, Tech Gray. All right guys, now these officially dropped today at Boutiques. These didn't come out on the Sneakers app and I haven't seen this shoe come out on Foot Locker or anything like that. Now this shoe did come out a few weeks ago and I reviewed it for you guys. In my opinion, this shoe is in my top 10, maybe even in my top five of the year. Now this one is a special edition. As you guys see on the back, it says every game because he has some lucky garments that he wore every game. And this color scheme is looking like that shoe. Now, in my opinion, you know what I mean? I wish they would have came with a more OG box. We just get a regular black box right here, all black box. It should have been gray and then aged out like this one, but you know, it is what it is. Now I did go to size 9.5 on here. Retail on this is 140. Yes, that's right, 140 bucks, guys, believe it or not. Open up the top of the box, we do get a stamp on the inside of the box. Take out this beautiful shoe right here, guys, and man, these are dope. I mean, I still like this one a little bit better. You know, they are pretty much identical, but this one has that aged out effect, you know what I mean? The aged out midsole make you feel like you're getting something back from, you know, the late 80s, early 90s. Out of the box here, we still do get this little booklet here. I'll show you guys every page. So, you know, if you guys want to pause it to read it, you guys can do that. But let's get to the shoe, guys. Now, this is the shoe right here, all white with gray on it. On the bottom of the shoe here, we get this tech gray. In the middle, it says Nike Air down there with the very detailed star towards the top of the shoe. Looking at the midsole here, it is all white. All right, on both the outside and the inside. But if you guys look at the midsole here, it has like these deep indents in them. All right, similar to what we see on the Air Jordan 185. So these do not have the insole of the Air Jordan 1. If you guys did not know and look at that so i just want to show you guys that real fast i'm um, coming up towards the body of the shoe here we do get it in all white leather and then as you guys see we get the hairy swoosh right there in gray also we do see that gray on the ankle lining all right all the way around the shoe pretty dope in my opinion okay what do you guys think about these a uh, copper drop for you guys it seems like you know they are starting to push these colors out a lot more you guys can find these for a very reasonable price on StockX. And I feel like, you know, if Nike and Jordan brand continue to make the shoes like this at this price with this technology, you know what I mean? This is a high contender for something to be like the Roshi run, <laughs> like it was back in the early 2010 era. Same thing on the inside of the shoe. I don't see a lot of stitching errors on my pair, but uh, you know, let me know how your pairs look when you do get them in if you guys have had the chance to get these off the aftermarket or for retail. The best part about this shoe that I love is right here, if you guys look at the bottom of the tongue, we get this elastic band tongue. And this is for wide footers or if you have you know problems with the shoe squeezing on your feet, this will help out a lot because it gives the shoe a lot of breathability and helps the shoe open up wide. So with Air Jordan 1s and especially Air Jordan 185s, you know, the cut feels like it is tight around that area. And you know, if you go up half a size, some people don't like that you know feel of it being loose towards the back of the shoe but i feel like you know this helps the shoe out a lot so jordan brand this is what we want the lower prices you know the flexibility in the toe box you know what i mean this is what it's all about right now comfort everybody wants to be comfortable nobody wants to just have style anymore we want the best of both worlds you know what i mean so looking at the toe box here we do get this white on the toe box pushing down on it you can see that they will crease up pretty easily if you guys use my code of y davis you can get five bucks off your order from crease beast protection looking at the mud guard here it is white on the mud guard we see the gray creeping up from the bottom of the shoe just a little bit now we do get two sets of laces on these they come standard with the white laces but then we get tech gray laces as well in a plastic bag with that being said i kind of do like the way the white laces look in it but you know you guys can pick your poison on which laces you want to put inside looking at the tongue here we do get an aged out tongue similar to how we see on that air jordan 185s that recently came out specifically the georgetown Okay, now the tongue does stand up a little bit like the Air Jordan 585s. It is a little bit taller and a little bit, you know, more longer in my opinion. All right, but if you guys look at the top of the tongue here, it says Nike Air in gray stitching and the background that is in like a light gray. Looking on the inside of the tongue, is this tells us where the shoe is from and everything like that. All right, we do get some tissue inserts on these. Now, if you guys look towards the sock lining of the shoe here, it is in that tech gray, but if you guys look on both the insides of the shoe, so they do have that feature on the shoe just like they have it on the Air Jordan 185 and that's how they used to have it back in the day with your size written on the inside of the shoe. Really nice detailing. Selection dates on this was 10, 12, 22 to 12, 09, 22. Give you guys a quick look on the inside of the shoe right there. You get some very well padded insoles on these. Better than the Dream Cells. This is the best insole. Only see these on the Air Jordan 185 but they are on the airship that are only 140 bucks. This is better than the Dream Cell insole. This is better than that fake 
you know, blue bottom insole. Um, you know, this is the best thing right here in my opinion. I love the way these feel on feet. And it just shows you that they can put these inside the shoe if they really did want to. Show you guys the back of it right here, show you guys what it looks like, but this is the real good insole. We get the jump in down there in the tech gray, the size of stick on the top, and the insole is in white. All right, now underneath the actual insole, all right, we do get some glue in there. Kind of looks like a peach color. And then we get some tape holding down some stitching in white and gray. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, it says Nike Air. Okay, and that stitching. And then we see the hairy suede in the background, a little bit lower than that. We see the swoosh that wraps around, and then it goes down to that white leather. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a true size nine, I'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes, but I will say that this is a true to size fitting shoe, but I still went up half a size for a better wearing experience. Now, if you guys haven't watched my other video on these shoes, I love the way these shoes fit and feel on feet. And I feel like Jordan brand needs to do this more often. Now they come with this really, really good insole on these, better than the dream soles better than the dream cells and i feel like that's the best insole on the market the white ones that i showed you guys a little bit earlier in the video i'm sure you guys my foot is in the toe box right here so i'm looking around but as you guys can see it's very easy for me to flex up my toes and wiggle my feet in these now my big toe is right here and i don't really have that amount of space in it but it does have a good amount of space as you guys can see but the best feature on this shoe has to be this elastic band you know type of tongue right here on the bottom of the tongue all right on the outsides and that makes the shoe more flexible and wearable especially if you have wider feet and that normally is where your feet start to hurt you know when your shoes are too small so on the inside and on the outside of a normal air jordan one you know what i mean that's normally where your feet start to hurt especially on the 85s and this shoe was actually made before you know there even was an air jordan one this was the first shoe that he was actually wearing and i feel like if jordan brand goes back to this type of comfortability and you know these type of you know technology moves to a better wearing shoes i think you know they'll be able to create something nice in the near future but other than that though this is what we want i feel like these are really nice on feet also this is normally how i like to wear my shoes unlaced and i don't have any slippage on here just in case you guys were wondering about going up half a size and you like to wear your shoes unlaced but other than that that's pretty much going to do it for this video i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now okay guys i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love